Some kind of routine for some folks living along the Potomac, and there are a few people who know the river's habits pretty well. I talked with one of those river experts today in Maryland. Point of Rocks, a beautiful location along the Potomac. Beautiful, that is, until the river gets ugly. And as the heavy waters rush downstream this week, the river has done it again. This is downtown Point of Rocks today, underwater. There's going to be some damage, but not as much as there might have been without proper warning. And while the residents here were listening to flood advisories on radio and TV, mostly they listened to the man they consider the local river expert, 81-year-old Howard Lamb. When they saw him preparing for the flood, they did the same. But Howard told me today, with modesty in mind, I'm sure, that he really isn't an expert. Oh, I wouldn't say that because I don't know that a lot of people know the river, I would think. But I've been on this river for many years. So I pretty well know what it's going to do. Howard doesn't rightly remember when he bought this house in Point of Rocks, but he sure remembers the floods. 36, 37, 42, 55, and then in Agnes, one they called Agnes. That was in 72. There have been a few smaller floods since Agnes, but Howard says this week's flood only takes a back seat to the one in 36. It was a mess. Left the houses terrible dirty. In spite of all the problems the flooding Potomac has caused for Howard Lamb in his 81 years, he has no bad feelings toward the river. No, not, not exactly. I don't have no bad feelings. We know these things are coming, so it doesn't, doesn't worry me any. That I just take things as it comes. And that's it. <laughs> I can rejoice through all things. That doesn't make any difference to me. <laughs> and there will be some rejoicing tonight in Point of Rocks. That's when Howard and the others, about 140 of them, hope to get back in their homes. You think about the fact... Maryland, the Potomac crested at 4 a.m., more than 36 feet above normal. Phyllis Armstrong has more now on that story. Living on the main street in Point of Rocks this November day is like that old saying about being between a rock and a hard place, a place where the Potomac comes right on in, leaving its muddy prints three feet high in your living room. Now that I've got it halfway decent, now i got to tear everything out I put in and we just redo it again. Sheet rock and insulation, you know, it's no good. After some 40 years in this town, Wesley Shores knows what is waiting to be done inside his flooded house. He expected water nearly as high as the Hurricane Agnes flood of 1972. So Shores and many of his neighbors moved much of their belongings to the second floor. This ain't the first time it happened. And I've been in, I've been in, uh, this is the second one I've been in. But I moved out two or three times when I didn't have to, you know what I mean? Many of the strangers that come to see this town in the river may be astounded by the calmness of the people with property underwater, but many of the people who have lived here most of their lives treat the Potomac like a friendly neighbor that brings trouble to their doorsteps once in a while. We've endured high waters before, floods before. It's nothing that a little water won't clean up. The Kerrigan Liquor Store is one of four businesses and some 26 homes with water flowing through their doors. Federal flood insurance will help some of the townspeople get back on solid ground, and the Red Cross will also chip in what it can. As soon as I can get my people in, lined up and in gear, then we will start getting a service center set up where the people can come up and register to uh, get emergency items. But citizens of this town of about 500 say neighbors helping neighbors will do the most good in bringing Point of Rocks back to where it was before the flood of 85 literally made it a riverside town once more. Phyllis Armstrong, Eyewitness News.